Hi everyone, welcome to Amanda Adams Auctions overview for the auction coming up on Monday night, March the 3rd. I'll just give you a quick overview of what's in the auction and what we're selling at the auction. If you just like to walk this way, we'll start off slowly. Uh, in this cabinet, we've got a very large shop display cabinet from a, the Bulls Corner Store in Malvern from about 1890. Uh, lots of interesting bits of furniture as well throughout the auction. There's a Victorian mahogany bow fronted chest. There's uh, some really nice little French uh, bedside cabinets, burr walnut uh, wine tables, chaise lounges, uh, Georgian furniture over this way of the room. We've got Georgian table and chairs. We've got some more Georgian uh, chairs here, some Windsor style chairs, little side tables. Genuine Georgian. I didn't realise you were there. No, I'm just reminding you. Ah, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we've got a you and Pine um, horse table or horse desk. Horse table. Beg your pardon? You said horse. No, not a horse, horse table. Uh, there's another little Georgian oak chest and on top of it's interesting too it has got a uh, bible box i won't lift this up this is an art deco um la a lamp signed by i think Molino. so wherever you look around the room the interesting things lots of georgian pieces um look at these have a look at these julian uh unicorn and there's a lion they're cast iron they're massive big victorian doorstops really unusual things they don't come up that often. And throughout the, uh, this section we've got a lot of uh, various china by Worcester, by Dalton, by Vienna. Uh, there's also lots of interesting glass by uh, Lalique. There's uh, Sabino. There's Murano glass throughout the auction. And along this side of the room, we'll uh, come over here. There's a really nice little early work by Robert Dickerson from about 1975-1980. Uh, a large uh, Charles Blackman, a self-portrait of Charles Blackman as a child. That's what he called it, from 2009. We have a, all, always a large amount of jewellery in the auction. This auction, we've got a large amount of diamonds, uh, rubies, rings, necklaces, uh, whatever you like we have in the auction. And over this side of the room we have some more interesting things. So wherever you look, there's another little Georgian drop side table there. And there's also some nice work, artworks by Paul Kaur, who's an Israeli artist, who died about seven or eight years ago. Some Georgian joint stools on this side of the room. And, uh, and we've got a large collection of Aboriginal artworks too, original Aboriginal artworks with certificates of authenticity, there's a couple here. There's a few if you uh, move the camera across there, Julian, on that side of the room as well. So wherever you look, there's interesting things throughout the auction. Is there anything that appeals to you particularly that you saw in the auction, Julian? Oh, yes. yes you, oh, you want to show me this? I better show you this one. I know, you remember you talking to me before about it. In this cabinet, Julian did ask me, he said, what is this? Because it's something that these days you don't uh, see. It's a little life insurance saving uh, bank in the form of a book. And you know what's interesting about it? We've got the key here, but we don't know how to open it. We've tried a few times, but I'm sure it would work. There might be cash in here too. Something's w moving around. It could be cash. You never know. So if you buy this item, it's all yours. In this uh, cabinet too, we have an interesting collection of sterling silver. We always carry a large amount of sterling silver, as always. I'll close that up. And there's a, a large collection of various bronzes, Art Deco and Art Deco style bronzes. This is a nice big heavy one. Shall I pick it up, or you think it'll be a bit heavy for me? Uh, you know what, I won't pick this one up. <coughs> no, I won't pick this one up. And I, I like this, even though this has been damaged, this is really rare. Look at this, tobacco bird's eye, tobacco jar, a Victorian one, but 
Very unusual. Why did you put the camera over there? <laughs> It's really unusual. It's very decorative, but unfortunately it has been damaged. Oh, sorry for bending down in front of you. Okay, so wherever you look throughout the auction, there's interesting things. The catalogue and the, uh, the uh, <laughs> photographs will be online. Sorry, Julian just pointed out something he wants me to show you. Of course I have to pick it up. Where do you think this has come from? It's lot 243 if you have a look in the catalogue. It's originally off a whaling boat, uh, early uh, 1900s whaling boat. It's, it's a whaling boat light. In those days, I don't think it was electrified. They've electrified it since. Um, but where do you come across one of these? You don't come across them too often at all. Um, and the estimate, I think, is only three to $500 for something super rare. So everything, uh, everything has its place. It'll be a very decorative item in a company's home. So, come along to the viewing on uh, Saturday the uh, 1st of March, 11am to 4pm. And Monday the 3rd of March from 12 noon to 6pm. And the auction will be on at 6.30. And the catalogue and video and the photographs will be on a week before the auction. We'll see you at the auction.